hi Raph Squad! Welcome, welcome back to About Raph! So as you can see sa ating pa-title and thumbnail, the products that we are going to try out today ay hindi hatid sa atin ng artista or celebrity, hindi hatid ng kahit sinong makeup artist, at hindi rin naman po galing from any beauty vlogger or influencer. Kasi guys, itong mga ito ay makeup line ng isang cartoon character. So I'm talking about Hello Kitty! Ayun, nakipag-collaborate siya with Daiso to produce nga her own her ba or it, basta. Her own makeup line. O diba, buti pa tong pusang ito ang daming businesses. Meron siyang staff toys, bed sheets, kurtina, pillowcases, toothbrush, kahit yata brief may Hello Kitty na. But anyway, if you guys wanna know kung nakakaganda ba, nakakakitty ba, or nakakapusi ba, itong mga ito, then keep on watching. Alright, so as stated earlier guys, itong makeup line na ito is in collaboration nga po with Daiso. And alam nyo naman na sa Daiso, mahilig sila sa mga fixed price everything, like everything 88, everything 66. And ito nga, since collaboration ito with a bigger company, mas mahal sila compared sa mga usual prices nila. They are 388 pesos each. May I just say na ang dami, okay? Ang daming variations of products. Like right now, sham itong nasa harapan ko. But even though marami na ito guys, hindi ko pa rin siya consider as complete line kasi meron pang mga kulang, okay? Wala silang foundation, primer, um, concealer. So, prior to filming this, naglagay na po ako ng mga yan. Yes, meron na po akong foundation and concealer para nga we could proceed agad-agad to this products right here. Okay, so start tayo guys sa kanilang Hello Kitty Mineral Loose Powder. At bago ko sila buksan, I just wanna say na yung packaging, box pa lang guys, super duper cute. As in, hindi sila mukhang cheap kasi ang ganda at ang galing nung kanilang attention sa details. Like for example, di ba, ayan, akala mo simple pink lang na box pero naka-engrave guys yung name ni Hello Kitty. And Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty ang dami. Tapos dito, merong emblem ni Hello Kitty and very well displayed yung product sa loob. Along with that, hindi lang cute yung itsura pero sa gana, sa information yung likod ng box. Nakalagay guys yung claims, kung paano gamitin, ingredients, at expiration date along with the official license sense nga ni Sanrio, proving na this is an official collaboration at hindi siya fake. Okay, so sabi niya sa kanyang claim, this is a lightweight mineral powder that provides sheer coverage and a radiant soft focus that perfects any look. So, tignan natin kung totoo ba yan. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Alam na alam mo best na this is an official Sanrio product kasi once again it looks expensive at saka kamukha ni Hello Kitty. <laughs> okay, yung ibang Hello Kitty kasi sa Divisoria, yung ilong nandito na weird. So, paano ko siya bubuksan? Kailangan ba pagutin ng ulo? Okay, ayun. So, ayan, nahihiwalay yung um, katawan ni Hello Kitty. Manananggal ang pen. Oh! Applicator puff ito but siya ay nakadikit actually guys dito sa kanyang component and dito may nakasulat na open and close so try natin siyang i-turn sa open side there you go tapos kapag pinat natin siya sa ating skin mismo ayan maglalabas na siya ng powder however um, judging by the itsura or the butil of the powder feeling ko hindi ko siya masyadong trip Okay, kasi meron siyang mga glitters or shimmers. Um, okay, so itatry kong um, apply siya here. Oh my gosh! So guys, kitang-kita ko yung pagkaka-deposit ng shimmer sa aking under eye. Parang subtle highlighter na yung kanyang effect. So I don't know, hindi ko talaga siya trip. <laughs> Pero sige na nga, since nire-review natin itong product na ito, um, gamitin na natin siya all over the face. Kahit labag sa aking loob, just ko po! Ayan, para tayong nagpa-full face using only highlighters. Alright, ayan, hindi ko na lang siya binild up ng masyado guys because I noticed na the more na dinadamihan ko siya, the more then na nagiging shining, shimmering, splendid yung aking mukha. Pero guys, eto na-appreciate ko to. Um, sabi ko kanina guys, ba diba, magkadikit yung mismong applicator sa kanyang product. Pwede naman pala natin siyang alisen. Ayan, there you go. Natatanggal siya. I think yung pinaka-purpose nito is para mahugasan natin yung puff if ever na masyado na siyang marumi. Okay guys, so let's move on sa ating mga pangkilays. At sinabi kong mga pangkilays kasi we have two over here. Isang eyebrow pencil at saka isang um, eyebrow powder. So pareho natin silang gagamitin. I don't know how, pero diskartehan natin. Unahin natin si eyebrow pencil or the Hello Kitty Long Lasting Eyebrow Pencil. Once again guys, very consistent. Ang ganda na naman ng kanyang 
packaging. So ayan, dito sa side kung saan may ulo ni Hello Kitty, we have the pencil. Um, tignan natin kung gano'ng kahaba. Mm -hmm. I could say decent amount naman na siya. Yung iba kasi ba diba, hanggang dyan lang. Ito, pwede-pwede na. Tapos pala, they have two shades for this. Yung isa, black. Pero itong kinuha ko ay brown. Okay? Kasi hindi ko trip. Yung itim na itim na kilay. Mukha akong mataray. Okay? So dito lang tayo. Malambing lang. Parang pusa. Anyway, sa kabilang side niya, meron tayong spoolie. So ang plano ko guys ay gagamitin ko to in outlining my brows and filling them up ng konti. Pero bago yan, um, iswatch muna natin siya at the back of my hand. Alright, there you go. I could say it's very creamy. And in fairness, hindi mapula yung kanyang shade. Actually, it's nice feeling ko tutugma siya sa aking hair color right now. But let's see. Okay, so pwede na muna yan. Um, alam nyo guys, I'm applying this very light-handedly. Pero, buong-buo yung kanyang pigmentation. Buong-buo yung kanyang color payoff. That's because the product is creamy. At ang maganda pa dyan, creamy lang siya at hindi waxy. So, ang nagagawa lang niya ay talagang um, na-fill upan yung mga sparse areas natin sa kilay at hindi na-disrupt yung mga buhok. Right now guys, ang ginagawa ko lang ay binabrush ng angled brush yung aking kilay kasi nga mukhang masyado akong maraming na ilagay. So by doing this, nadi-distribute pa natin more yung excess product na nailagay natin especially on the outer parts. Ngayon, try natin gamitin yung kanyang spoolie kung effective ba. And yes, maayos naman guys yung kanyang spoolie. Hindi ganun katigas. So, komportable pa rin gamitin. And I'm um, going back sa kanyang kulay. Sabi ko nga kanina, hindi siya mapula as you can see. However, mag-ingat kayo sa paggamit kasi nga it could go super duper dark because it is very creamy and pigmented. Okay, so sabi ko nga kanina, dapat konting pag-fill lang yung gagawin ko sa kilay ko. Using the pencil kasi nga, meron pa tayong eyebrow powder. Pero, um, since very pigmented nga si pencil, ayan, na carried away, tuloy tayo. But still, tignan pa rin natin kung anong ipaglalaban nitong eyebrow powder na ito. Once again, super duper cute packaging. And, wow, na-appreciate ko rin guys na kumpleto yung kanyang components. Ayan, we have a mirror over here. And yung mirror niya ay totoo ha. Hindi siya yung plastic kind of mirror. Tapos, eto yung dalawang powders natin. We have one that is darker and one that is lighter. At pareho silang hindi super warm toned. Ayan, hindi sila mapula totally. Tapos, we have dual-ended applicators here which is interesting kasi on one side, ayan, staple na ito eh. Yung angled brush para sa kilay. Pero sa kabila, we have an eyeshadow foam applicator. I think that is to indicate na hindi lang ito limitado bilang eyebrow powder, we can actually use this daw as eyeshadow. Anyway, try natin gamitin itong dark powder starting sa outer part ng ating kilay. Alright, so hindi ko mapagkakaila na very pigmented siya best. Okay. However, alam nyo guys kung anong napansin ko, parehong si pencil at saka itong angled brush nila are makapal. So if ever na manipis lang yung perimeters ng kilay mo, I suggest kumuha ka ng mas manipis na angled brush para truly malinyahan mo or malagyan mo ng powder precisely yung iyong kilay. Now, inaalis ko lang yung excess product so that we can move on to the lighter shade. At ito naman guys, yung ilalagay ko dito sa inner part ng aking brows. Ayan, lumampas ako ng kaunti or hindi nga kaunti eh, ng marami sa perimeters ng kilay ko but lilinisin ko na lang yan using my concealer over here. Alright guys, so for our eyeshadow, we have here the Hello Kitty Glamorous Eyeshadow. Hmm, 
So in fairness, mukhang glamorous naman guys yung kanyang color selection kasi it's more of a classic choice, okay? Hindi ko ito in-expect knowing na Hello Kitty yung collection. Nag-expect ako ng mga neon pink. Meron lang tayong bronze, super light rose gold, at saka itong parang pearly white at lahat sila may shimmer. Now, before tayo mag-proceed sa mga shimmer eyeshadows nga from the glamorous eyeshadow, sabi ko kanina, susubukan natin itong eyebrow powder as eyeshadow. So let's do that. So unahin natin gamitin itong lighter shade of brown. Ayan, meron siyang konting kickback pero konti lang naman. Oh wow, but the pigmentation though, nandyan talaga. Now what I'm going to do is ibibuild up ko siya, especially here sa outer part, at gagawin kong fanned out. Mm. So aside na pigmented siya, it is also buildable and blendable at the same time. In fairness, alam nyo, I think this will also be an effective bronzer kasi, yes, even though meron siyang konting warmth or reddish tone, it is still enough para mas calm yung mga bone marrow natin. Kasi, ayan o, oh, mas nahalata yung aking crease using this lighter color. Now, gamitin natin itong darker shade. Once again, from the eyebrow powder palette, para lang i-deepen up pa more itong outer part ng ating eyeshadow. Okay, now for the rest of our lids, punta na nga tayo dito sa glamorous eyeshadow niya. Mag-try muna tayo mag-swatch pala muna. I'm starting with the bronzy color. Ooh! Even though light lang yung kanyang kulay, very visible at saka consistent yung kanyang performance. Okay, dito naman tayo sa light rose gold. Ang ganda rin. Lastly, itong pearly shimmery white. Okay, so itong si White, mas powdery siya as compared to the other two na may kulay. So with that being said, gamitin natin itong pinaka-impressive for me which is yung bronze. Pero para mas lumabas yung kanyang full potential, lalagyan ko muna guys ng concealer especially here sa may inner hanggang middle part of my lids. I will grab a packing brush. Iwi-wet ko siya using my Fix Plus before we dip in nga here sa bronzy color. Okay, so ginagamit ko lang ulit yung pinang transition shade natin para lang ma-blend everything all together. And alam nyo, in fairness, uh, kaya kong lumabas ng bahay with this eye look kasi ang ganda ng mga kulay at kitang-kita sila. Hindi ko inexpect to kay Daiso at Hello Kitty. Okay now, ngayon naman, subukan natin. Ito naman, itong light rose gold para nga i-highlight yung ating brow bone and inner eye corners. Ooh! So kahit dry natin siyang gamitin, guys, as you can see, meron pa rin siyang pigment na nade-deposit. Now, gusto ko ng smoky lower lash line. So, gamitin natin ulit si eyebrow powder. Natutuwa talaga ako dito. Simula natin with the lighter shade. Lalagay ko all over the lower part of my eye. And then, kukunin ko yung darker one para lang dito sa outer part. meron silang a magic black waterproof eyeliner at sabi niya dito it is an easy application waterproof liquid liner that stays on all day and night so sana naman totoo yan ano hello kitty anyway ito guys yung itsura ng kanyang component kamukha niya yung ating eyebrow pencil at ito yung itsura ng tip ng eyeliner so let's watch it muna here ooh in fairness, guys, very pointed, okay? Yung kanyang liner tip. Pero yung kanyang kulay, guys, um, hindi siya totally itim na itim. Yes, black siya. However, I could still see some parts of my skin peeking through. Mm -hmm. 
Alright guys, so even though maganda yung tip niya kasi very precise, hindi ko pa rin siya totally marirecommend kasi ayun nga, hindi very opaque yung pagkaitim niya. I have to layer it up ng sobrang dami para lang ma-reach yung ganitong um, intensity ng color. And because of that, ayan, sumobrang kapal naman. <laughs> so, if katulad kita na gusto mo itim na itim yung liner mo, hindi natin maa-achieve yan agad-agad using this. Along with that, yung kanyang finish is medyo glossy as well. And nachichipan kasi ko kapag ganyan yung itsura or finish ng eyeliner, mas gusto ko pa rin yung matte na matte. meron silang pamaskara. Hindi na ulo ni Hello Kitty yung nasa tuktok pero ribbon na. Super nice. So yung kanyang applicator guys is pa ganun. Okay, pa curve. Para siyang ako, hindi siya straight. Ganon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, I can say guys na yung kanyang formulation is hindi ganun kabasa at hindi rin ganun kabigat kasi even though nilalayer up ko na siya ng sobra-sobra, hindi pa rin natatanggal yung pagkakakurl ng lashes ko. However, hindi ko napapansin na nabobolumize niya yung aking lashes. Feeling ko ang nagagawa lang niya, nalilenten yung lashes ko. So, ilalagay ko rin siya dito sa ilalim. Pero guys, in fairness sa kanyang wand or applicator, madali naman siyang gamitin, okay? Hindi siya makalat at saka hindi nagbubuo-buo or nagdidikit-dikit yung lashes ko. Pero guys, since hindi nga niya masyadong na-volumize yung itsura, maglalagay lang ako ng falsies at magbabalik ako. Okay guys, so I'm back. Nagkabit lamang po ako ng falsies at naglagay ng white eyeliner, especially on my lower lash line. Wala po pang contour dito sa collection ni Hello Kitty with Daiso. So for that, try natin gamitin ulit si eyebrow powder, especially Actually, itong lighter brown shade. Pwede siyang pang kilay, pwede siyang pang eyeshadow. Now, let's see kung pwede siya sa ating contour. So, ingat-ingat lang kasi na-prove natin kanina na pigmented siya. And ayan na nga ba ang aking sinasabi. Parang ako'y napasobra be. Pero once blended naman, I could say, this could definitely work. Especially for morena people. In fairness naman, no, it works talaga. Kailangan lang natin i-control yung pigment at saka i-blend ng maayos nga. Now, lagi kong sinasabi, kung payat na yung mukha mo, dapat consistent hanggang ilong. Okay, dapat payat din yan. So, i-contour ko lang din yan. Alright, there you go. Kasing nipis na ng Mongol pencil yung aking ilong. Now guys, move on na tayo sa ating blush. Meron silang palette dito called the Hello Kitty Blush Powder in the shade Love. So, tingnan natin kung kamahal-mahal ba talaga yung itsura ng blush ko na ito. Ooh, there you go. So, ayan na naman po. Kompleto na naman po sila. Merong salamin, may applicator, at meron tayong two shades of blushes. Yung isa, super light pink, as in baby pink talaga. Tapos yung isa, parang curly. Carnation Pink. So, ang gagawin ko guys, itong si Carnation Pink lang yung kukunin ko kasi out of the two, siya lang yung matte. At gusto ko matte yung aking blush on for this look. Alright. So, ito guys yung kanyang itsura upon the first layer. Yeah, it is light. So, let's build it up some more. It is buildable naman. Yan naman yung importante sa mga blush on na even though hindi sila ganun ka-pigmented, as long as they are buildable, it's fine. Okay na, wala pong highlighter sa kanilang collection. So, balikan natin ulit itong um, eyeshadow palette. Gamitin natin ito ulit, itong light rose gold. Ayoko tong gamitin guys kasi this one, itong puti is very powdery nga. Okay. 
Okay guys, we are now down sa ating last two products. And by the way, hindi nyo ba napapansin na bigla akong namaos? Oh my gosh! Ewan ko ba kung bakit? Hello Kitty naman tong ginagamit ko. Pero parang pinagbibinata ako ng Diyos. Anyway, so we have a bullet lipstick dito at saka a lip gloss. Start tayo of course with a lipstick. I got the shade. Ayan, Apple Red. So for this, meron silang available na tatlong lipstick shades. At let me tell you, lahat sila super maingay yung kulay. I think it's because um, yung ibang products here, especially yung eyeshadow palette, they are very muted or classical colors lang yung involved. That is why loud na sila pagdating sa lipstick. Ang ganda ng packaging. Ang sarap niyang i-display. Definitely, para siyang collector's item talaga. Now, ito guys, yung itsura ng kulay ni Apple Red. Nakakaloka yung pagka-pink nito. So, I guess, ang gagawin ko na lang ay lalagay siya especially on the inner parts of my lips. Tapos, I'll just blend it using my finger. <laughs> ang intense pa rin. Ano ba yan? Patungan na lang natin siya ng lip gloss. At ang tawag nila dito ay Glorious Lip Gloss. Glorious, di ba yun yung ano? Lalapapin si Tony Labrusca. So, tingnan natin. Feeling ko, kapag ginamit natin tong lip gloss na to, magiging ready na tayo i-glorious ni Tony Charot. Tony siya pala. Joke lang. Love you, Tony. Alright, so swatch din natin siya here. So, ayan siya, guys. Meron siyang konting-konting tinge ng light pink. And alam nyo, feeling ko, ito na lang susotin ko using my natural lip color kasi hindi ko talaga bet yung kulay nitong ni Apple Red. Alam nyo guys, ito yung type of lip gloss na very sticky. It reminds you na meron kang suot sa lips. Along with that, meron din siyang amoy or perfume na parang parang nalalasahan mo kapag sinuot mo na yung lip gloss. Okay guys, so ito na po yung aking final look using mga Hello Kitty makeup products in collaboration nga with Daiso. Okay, now for my final verdict. Marirecommend ko ba lahat? Or alin dito yung marirecommend ko sa presyong 388? Um, alam nyo, if and only if you are a fan of Hello Kitty, like kung wari, nagko-collect ka ng mga Hello Kitty items, marirecommend ko sila lahat. Just for the fact na sobrang ganda besh ng itsura ng mga packaging. As in, para siyang mashup ni Hello Kitty at saka Sailor Moon. Look at that. Hindi rin sila ganun kagaan. They have weight. So, they don't look and feel cheap at all. Actually, mukha silang mahal lahat. Pero guys, kung ang habol mo naman ay yung performance ng mga makeup products, merong ilan dito actually yung nagustuhan ko at na-enjoy kong gamitin. Unang-una na nga dyan ay itong long-lasting eyebrow pencil. Kanina guys, nakita nyo yung kanyang powers. It is very pigmented. Mas gugustuhin ko na na very pigmented yung pangkilay ko as compared sa hindi masyadong pigmented. Kasi ito, mas tipid siya sa product at hindi rin siya waxy. The best part, sobrang ganda din ng kanyang kulay kasi siya yung tipo ng brown na hindi mapula. So kahit anong kulay ng buhok mo, like kung wari ash blonde ka rin, or even black yung hair mo, you can relate to this. Isa pa ang marirecommend ko rin guys ay yung kanilang mga palettes, especially itong eyebrow powder palette. Kasi, you know, ang ganda, hindi lamang nung kanilang kulay kasi hindi sila too reddish. Maganda rin guys yung kanilang performance kasi they are pigmented, buildable, and blendable. Lahat ng mga qualities na gusto natin sa powder nandito na, making it multifunctional, okay? Hindi lamang siya nag-work sa kilay, pero pati sa eyeshadow, and even sa contour. Maganda rin guys na kompleto siya. Ayan, very friendly for traveling kasi meron na siyang mirror and applicator. So ayun lamang po. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. If nag-enjoy kayo, then please do click the thumbs up button. Also, please do subscribe to me and follow me on my other social media sites. Ako po si Atrafan. See you sa Instagram, Twitter, at sa Snapchat. It's a wrap and uh, magpapakulo na ako ng lagundi. Oh my gosh, ang sakit.